Uh, it is now seven or sorry, six fifty-five, um, and we'll call the uh, meeting to order for the ad hoc budget procedure committee um, on June, uh, June, uh, September nineteenth. Um, Ian Thomas, Jen White, and Mike Whitney are present. And we have any attendees? Negative. All right. So, um, so first order of business is to uh, review the minutes of August 8th. Um, really? Oh wait, no, sorry, <laughs> wrong wrong page. Uh, the um, minutes of August 29th. Um, can I get a motion to review those minutes? Uh, Jen? So moved by Jen White. I'll, I'll second that. All right. Um, <clears throat> any comments? Um, I, I don't have any, it's a long document because of the attachments, of course. Right. But that's fine. Yeah. Actually, I really like that they're included. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm well, you know, because the documents grow, you know, any number of ways each time we go, we have a meeting. So I like to include all the current drafts. Yeah, I think that's helpful, like for us as a committee, but then in the future as well looking back for others too yes all right so um hearing no comments otherwise uh we all take a take a vote uh to to accept them um oh jen you're muted I'm going to have to abstain because I wasn't present. I apologize for missing that meeting. No worries. Totally understandable. Um, all right. So uh, all in favor of accepting the minutes? I'm Aye. in favor. Aye. Aye. All right. Um, and so now we're looking at the agenda items. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about... I'll open the floor to anyone else that you know has any hot button items they want to jump into. Um, myself, I was thinking about revisiting the uh, table of contents briefly, but uh, anyone else have any other ideas? No, that's that's good with me. Um, we'd made quite a bit of um, inroads with the timeline before, mm -hmm. and um, just just a just a note that. Like when when our new uh, business manager comes online, it'd be great to have them come to to the next meeting of this. Right, it'd be Definitely. helpful. Yes, uh, I'll make a note of that, and uh, maybe just in general, anyway, for any of these topics. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, let's see, uh, I'm going to pull up the. Table of contents outline and share the screen. Let's see. All right. Um, can everyone see that? All right. Very good. Um, So um, <clears throat> I did a little bit of tweaking on this one um, just to, we had talked about rearranging the order of the schools and central office for it to be um, uh, from central office on down to the elementary schools. So I did that. Um, but we had talked about also uh, attaching actual object codes um and making sure that we have our classifications correct um 
So I pulled out the budget from this past year and let's see. Uh, But um, do either of you recall what date the uh, business manager is supposed to come online? No, oh, Jen, you're muted. Thought I heard the 26th or the 29th, but then it, when I looked on the calendar, that was like a Thursday and a Sunday, so that didn't make sense to me. So I might have heard incorrectly. I I remembered vaguely hearing the 29th. That was a day I was going to say. And I wasn't honestly sure if that was, I was hoping it was September. <laughs> yeah. I could remember. remember. <laughs> the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, but that's like a Sunday. So that's why it didn't make sense. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure when the pay period starts and finishes with the school district. So that could be something to do with it. Hmm. Um, but, you know, I was, I was kind of kicking around trying to think about attaching these numbers and recategorizing, like we just kind of um, threw out general categories here. Um, but they already do have object codes that are assigned to them. Um, so this might be something I don't want to necessarily duplicate efforts. So, you know, if, if the business manager has an idea on how they want to arrange the object codes, I mean, I think that's all kind of like mandated anyway. It's all kind of standard stuff. Um, so we may just want to, uh, wait for them in that regard, just to make sure that, you know, we're not overlapping. Yeah. And, and I think like, you know, some of these changes will be able to be implemented this year and some of them may be able to, but won't end up getting in. Um, I was wondering also like uh, from, from you two going through it last year, like in terms of triage, what would be, what, what would be the, the biggest change you want in there that, that we should kind of push for getting in up front? Um, you know, short of an over uh, an overhaul of the existing uh, thing, is there something one section we could change? Is there something that desperately needs to be added? I mean, I have a flavor of, of some of the shortcomings that, and we've touched on them, but like, what what would you love to have in there that isn't? <laughs> well, for me, it is it is basically like the organization and the layout, you know, that and and sort of the scheduling of actually having votes on numbers and, and having like a structured schedule of, of what we're handling each night. Um, that was one of my main concerns. It just felt like it was sort of a, a, a toss up every time we came into one of our sessions. Um, I agree with that. I, I, I felt like it was <laughs> like we were talking about the same thing over and over <laughs> Yeah. and over and I it would it I do like the calendar and if we say we're going over section a section b tonight and if we spend 30 minutes on it kudos we're done if we spend three hours on it okay that's a long night you know um mm -hmm. I would like it so that and then um you know sort of like we talked about it before and I'm just, um like voting on each section and um, then taking a final vote. I mean, granted, we could always go back because maybe we uncovered something in another section, but mm -hmm. voting so that by the time we're done in the three weeks or four weeks that we allocate to ourselves to review this, we're done. Right. And I also want it 
one of the other things I would like is to have it really be done like a week or two weeks before the deadline. Um, I did, I, I, I felt unsettled, like printing it pretty much the same day or the day before that it was due to be presented that I, I, I guess you guys know, I'm just a planner and I just like things in advance. So um, it doesn't need to be like a full two weeks, a week's fine, just mm -hmm. not 24 hours. Right. That, that'll be our fallback position. But I, I think, I think that two weeks um, talking about with the entire board of ed that had broad, broad support and mm -hmm. understanding for, for wanting mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Even though it takes away the hot off the presses excitement. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, did did you like during the last budget session? Did you actually have this BOE supplement to work off of? I, my sense is maybe not so much. It, uh, um, what do you mean the BOE supplement? Like, so we've got the the table of contents. Uh, like for instance, you've got up the table of contents for the budget book for the the board of ed. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh. And and that's what in the RTM and the town council, that's what we're pouring through. But my sense from watching the meetings is you didn't necessarily have a complete version of this, even right. with any set of numbers. This thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah we did not have this. In yeah. Reality. No. Because the premise was, Mike, was they were giving it to us piecemeal, like as we were sort of meeting did you is that how you remembered it Ian? Yeah, like, it like yeah. they would just give us like a little bit here and there and then yes it was never just done like we were just never done with salaries right like that should be the easiest thing and then next thing you, similar to like when we get our monthly reports right um oh, i don't know if you were here some but the numbers were just changing and swinging, and um, that's how it was during the budget process. Yeah, and like so, sometimes you were over, severely over in transportation and electricity, and then next time it was like, oh, we're sort of close, <laughs> and it, yes, um, I would not wish what we went through. Um, to any new board member. And, and it sounds like from hearing Bev and, and Jay that that was a different a different year from others. Mm -hmm. um, so 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 that that means though that the the budget book or the, I guess um, we're calling the budget presentation binder um, it, it it's something that the other parts of government see but but you guys aren't we, we aren't getting this to see that before it goes out like like basically you're not like sifting through it in the way that everyone else gets to right it, it felt like we were just getting handed a yeah. sleep paper um mm -hmm. every meeting and some of the stuff was like repeated and redone and yeah we like like jen said we cycled around a lot of certain subjects and then we never got to others and there was yeah no no structure to it that could be discerned and it was unfortunate because um you know it was a big turnover on the board and you know i had been tracking a lot of the board budget meetings prior to this so yeah. like i was familiar with the process and i had some idea of how it worked and then when we came in like uh everything was changed up and then you know not very consistent even in what was presented to be their their the organized fashion um so, yeah, so I, I guess what I'm getting at is is I'd be I'm hopeful that the finance director or business manager, whatever the title is officially, um, is online by the end of this month. Um, and I would be greatly appreciative of them to join one of our meetings. And um, I like to present them with the town budget book side by side with the board budget book and say, how can we make this look like that? Yeah. Um, and do we have it in the timeline? Like, I know we're jumping around a bit, but they're all interconnected in our timeline. 
when when we say we want the the budget, what what are like by December, what are we getting like that? It's basically that two sheet like list that we've been looking at for the current year or the the past year, right? Like it's not a whole budget book. What do we have somewhere in the timeline that we say we want a draft of the budget book? Because uh, if not, we should put it in <laughs> some somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, you know, and it, it can say draft and 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 that's um you know, they don't have to update it ever. It doesn't have to be a live document, but it it would help because it because I mean we've got like budget message, financial management practices, economic data. Some of that stuff can go in almost right away. Um, right. Some of it's boilerplate, some of it's like very, you know, could be like manufactured once and then just slightly edited year by year. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 I found that um, I'll I'll say it this way that um, in in board of ed meetings and um, um, as as the the school staff is presenting data, uh, I think in board of ed meetings often the the main points are are drawn out more clearly than they were before because you know we're we're inside but we're outside of it and um, and I I think if the if those main points that come through after a meeting are then reflected in an updated draft of the budget book that would be for everyone's benefit because i, I mean i'm a, uh, have been on the rtm and we're at the end of the line uh, it's been combed through several times but oftentimes you're, i'm looking at a section of graphs and like well what is this really trying to tell me and i've got maybe a verbal um description highlighting things but it'd be nice if, if it could be more standalone nailing the big points and and there, there are parts that definitely do that but i think you know having a draft early of the actual budget book would allow feedback from us that would approve the final project product as it goes to the other parts of the government so well i'll throw that in here of actual budget book and that doesn't necessarily need to be november cuz they're running numbers but you know it can be january right cuz this is about it transitions i think and maybe you, you guys didn't have this part last year where it transitions from deciding on numbers to uh, putting a narrative in mm -hmm. so and the narrative was put in but i don't think you guys got a chance to review it i mean it's there at some places addition subtractions um but that overarching narrative would help right and so we, yeah, i think it's reasonable to expect that the budget we'd have a, a, a draft of the budget book uh when we actually start deliberating the, the deliberative budget review session exactly yeah and that doesn't mean they have to go through you know the mission for teaching and learning and th things like that to us uh, right. But it, it's good. It's good to have it there. I mean, in a way, it feeds into um, the K person. His name is Nick, I think, who came and spoke. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was about data, but he was pointing out that um, you know, you, sh you, you shouldn't be looking through dull, uh, data without goals, right? And having the full budget book spells out the goals. And and the, here's the data. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I know it's not budget related, but I think maybe one of the problems was like, there were really no goals set. Or if they were, they were just set and then shelved and never monitored. So, you know, hopefully us coming into this new school year, like they see that we're more numbers driven, you know what I mean? And goal setting. So hopefully, you know, they can come up with a goal and then we can track and monitor it and like put processes in place to mm -hmm. like have, have it be reviewed rather than just getting narratives to say like, hey, this is what I'm working on. And here are the three things that I did this month that is 
helping me achieve my goal. Like we never got any report in that manner. We would get like, oh, this is like what we've been working on, but you don't necessarily know if that was um, working toward like um, the district's objective. And always in the back of my mind is, you know, improving um, those scores for the children. So that's how I view it. I think well, all of you guys too, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think that's, that's the sense I get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm can appreciate comparative data to other districts and, and the statewide, but um, like I said the other night, I think there's also a great value and perhaps even superior value in uh, focusing on, on competing against ourselves, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, yeah. and year to year, like how we're doing with overall achievement within our own district and within each cohort. Mm -hmm. I agree. And, yeah, and that, that's really good. And, that, and so that's something it's budget relevant, uh, but it, it's overarching. Um, mm -hmm. and, and in the budget relevant part, I know every year one and in every budget book, there's always a slide uh, comparing us to area towns, which I think is very use, useful. Um, I had always found the the DERG, you know, our our group of similar schools, not as useful at all. Um, mm -hmm. Like state average, it, like it, it makes sense to look at that for sure. But the DERG one, I never felt was very moving. And um, and then I think we heard maybe when Nick was presenting or someone else was that the state hasn't use that in in years for anything it just still exists right. and so um that that means like that at very least it, it's not been updated and so we're it's probably not our, even our necessarily the best schools that we should be comparing to and so we could lift out that one slide that they talk about for a few minutes and put in more of a compare to ourselves compared to where we want to be kind of thing. I, 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 I agree there because like um, I stated, and I don't know, like if I've stated since you joined my, because like we were done sort of like grueling over that budget book. Um, but my contention with that DERG, it's like, so you're comparing, so we're in an alliance district, right? I, I view that negatively. I know there's like other factors towards it, but um. But like, I'm here like, why are we saying like, oh yeah, we're better than all of the other um, sort of like categorized school. Like, wouldn't, I always say like, wouldn't you wanna find like two or three schools who are doing something really well and say like, we wanna emulate them. It's almost like, mm -hmm. hey, um, when other companies go out to benchmark, right? Like they may not necessarily be in the same industry or the same size, but they're doing something well. And so why would you wanna compare yourselves to schools that are in the um, worst perform, I'm uh, not worst performing, but in like a certain dirge when you could identify schools that you want to become or take pieces of different districts like and and obviously comparing yourself to one you know comparing yourself to um yourself and like improvements trends over trends but um i'd rather have us select schools <laughs> that we want to emulate um because mm -hmm. So, for, no, that's for, great. yeah, yeah. Um, having aspirational goals as opposed to um, and and looking at looking upwards and outwards as for uh, instead of looking down. Mm -hmm. And I, I learned long ago in terms of role models that they are truly role models just for a role and not you know like extend it beyond that. So mm -hmm. extending that to a school, it's not like we're trying to become a a carbon copy of a particular school system. It would be we're picking something that they excel at or or do measurably better at than we are, and that this is what we'd like to do in that area. Um, Correct. And so so basically, what we're saying is in the budget book we want like um, uh, you know we have achievements and highlights in the budget message message, but mm -hmm. along with there there should be, you know, the goals we're working towards, uh, uh and and you know, metrics 
and this a little bit about metrics of of um of attaining those goals, right? And and benchmarks, mm -hmm. as you said, um, and 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 then what it takes to do that, right? Like, um, you know, we just took on a new literacy program, and uh, we mm -hmm. believe that's going to help this, 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 right? Um, that uh, career pathways, the NROTC, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they're talked about for sure as highlights, but like, you know, it could be framed in this was a goal we're trying to do. And it's talked about already like that. It just, um, it's, it could be kind of structured in that way, actually. Um, so that we're like kind of an achievement driven goal oriented organization and the budget is designed uh, to, to get there. So. I'm just going to kind of throw a note. I'm back in the table of contents document and throwing some notes to kind of try to capture those thoughts as far as like, you know, when we're looking at mission and vision. Um, yeah. And and I like, I really like the Jen's term benchmarks, uh, benchmarks from other schools. I mean, yeah. And, and go ahead, Mike. I, I see it in the financial management policies. The um, non-lapsing reserve fund for educational and capital expenditures is there. Um, I somewhere do we currently actually mention CIPs? I I know it goes in the town part. Oh, um, uh, we did put it at the end of this thing, um, where it's more just like a review of you know our wish list, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and ordering of priority with like some narratives. Cause, cause that'd be yeah, that'd be really helpful. Like specifically what our what our needs are, what we're seeking. Um, uh, but also I I I remember the town manager once, oops, sorry about that. The town manager once said um, you know, he quoted a percent of what you know uh, the town should be spending on CIPs in terms of their um overall. Um, budget and it's quite a it's quite a lot and we're way under on that um the town as a whole and uh and the schools for sure um so but but then of course we had all these new schools right and so that counts that's definitely a, a capital <laughs> expenditure oh definitely yeah so yeah i think in um one of the meetings we had mentioned in that capital expenditure exhibit, right? Like we would put dates so that um, Groton residents can see like how long we've been asking for certain things and it always gets either approved or nixed um, because we've been, thank you for the seats and the audio for the auditorium, but from my understanding, that was a long time asking. And finally, at least that one made it through. Um, there was, um, I think we had put in for the five HVAC, um, HVAC units. Obviously that didn't go anywhere, but it looks like it would, it's impacting us now, right? Like as, um, so. What, football field. Football uh, field. Years, uh, culinary at Fitch for years. And, mm -hmm. uh, and those are the ones that that make it onto the the list of for consideration, and then mm -hmm. there are others that are put up that just aren't right. So yeah. because because we, like on the education committee in RTM, we're always going through that, and we're like, well, uh, I know we've got these these seven, but they've been they were zeroed out by town manager and the, the town council, so we can't do anything about this. And so <laughs> they're, they're they're just there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and that and that's a kicker, you know, because. If they get zeroed out by the town manager, then it's like no one can really touch it. Yeah, and if that's the pro, well, the town council could, but <clears throat> but yeah. th that that's the process. But um, you know, there's nothing wrong with having that transparency within our budget, like because it's part of uh, what we do. It 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 impacts maintenance always, um, property loss issues always. So.
Yeah. So it always it almost sounded like I, I came in wondering, you know, what, what changes to the budget book we could we could meaningfully get. So is so far the most important one to actually get the budget book okay. in, in in January? Is that <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, that, that's significant. <laughs> that and also just having a structured sequence, you know, like that's, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, in terms of the timeline, for sure, for sure. Right, right. And, and a structured set of like voting by department, however we want to break it up, which is something I'd like to definitely coordinate with the business manager on is, <clears throat> you know, how could we systematically move through the budget document? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and to show them the, the town book and say, well, you know, and and look at one of the meetings or, or the series of meetings from one of the previous years where town council or the RTM would just systematically move through a, the budget and then finalize the vote at the end like that. Yeah. And, and and that systematic move through and having an open meeting, you know, that continues more like the town council does. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, we, we could put that in as ultimately get that in as board policy uh, mm -hmm. But I will say that there's nothing in policy that prevents us from doing that now. And so, so it, like, we don't have to worry, I think, for like getting it approved this year to do it this year. Right. Um, we can just do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I'd like it codified in policy because yeah. it is a nice structure to have. It's a very, very helpful structure. Um, right. But, yeah. Sort of like as a, a first beta test it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> policy and procedures, or um, anything else? As far as software goes, um, those are the two other ones we haven't looked at yet tonight. Oh, for for different agenda items. Yeah. 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 Let's see. I'm, I'm locked in. Give me a second. Um. Yeah, the the budget software upgrade possibilities. Uh, should we be just like, so we meet what every couple of weeks or so? Yeah, that's been the average. So we're gonna. I would assume that budget software. We're we're gonna need the business manager to talk about that. So that'll be like October -y kind of thing. Yes. Wouldn't want it later. No. Um, and if I remember her resume correctly, I think she has experience with Munis. She does. She does. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. um, and also a number of other softwares, but um, the mm -hmm. Munis thing, you know, it does seem to be a general drift towards that direction. I mean, there's a lot of logic towards that being the choice. Um. And that's what the town uses. Yeah. That's what the town uses. Yeah. And and <clears throat> from what Ray was saying is that Munis does a lot of like the internal data processing. Like there's a lot more functionality inside the program where you can say, all right, show me this, click, and the software will generate the data and and collate it in a way that however you determine. And uh Whereas the Excel people had to go in there and mine the stuff out and then <laughs> like almost physically construct the data presentation. For, that's for sure. Um, with Munis, do we know, and, and we can ask um, Ray or the new business manager, but um, do we know if it's like kind of has a, as a module for just linking into these uh, school codes or would that kind of have to be stuck in? Cause the codes are, state mandated as far as i can tell right right yeah and that's, mm -hmm. that's what I was like you know we basically would have to redo this 
that little blurb that we did off the off the the cuff and you know just use what the state says you know the yeah. codes and departments are but um yeah yeah but that's something i definitely want to do in conjunction with the business manager uh, to make sure that we get it right um let's see then what was the other one was it oh the policy is that the other agenda item where yeah i just kind of open call for that um i mean we did some work on that i think that might have been one of the meetings you were absent for jen um i can uh pull that up here real quick uh, let's see where quick And um, I, I see we've got that other agenda item, the uh, FAQ document mm -hmm. seen from last year. Uh, and and I, I can see how that was helpful, but talking about what we were talking about today, um, that could be set up in terms of goals or topics, right? In, instead of just, a, just a, a list of when it comes in, right? So... Oh yeah, okay. All right, so we had done some of this with you here, I think, Jen, the top part. Mm -hmm. um, but then did we go back in there, Mike, during one of those meetings with just you and me? Um, I, I don't know. I know we did the timeline quite a bit. Last time we ended with a budget uh, software. Um, Mm -hmm. well look right so oh and last time we we're talking about um the feedback from the whole uh, board of ed too as opposed to in, in in what context i just i just remember that i was trying to remember what exactly how we went through last time so i don't think we i don't think we touched this last time yeah maybe not um, I remember this was important. Um, and I don't know if Jen, you were here for that uh, conversation or not, but <clears throat> if there's communication that's going to be used as guidance upon which the board is supposed to act in such, some manner, yeah. such communication must be documented and confirmed by all parties involved in the communication. Um, yeah, I don't, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I can't recall if that was a meeting that you were here for or not um, when we discussed that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a month. I don't recall. Usually I try, I sort of remember like things, but I don't recall that particular one item. Oh, that was, it. yeah. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think you, you may recall the context of this um, yeah. in regards to the... Uh, the nurses yep <laughs> mm -hmm. yes yep yeah their narratives on that so you know that's definitely something i think is a high priority and um you know to, to have a firm policy on that because we you know i understand like informal conversations and all that but we have if we're if we're basing big money decisions on something then it needs to be verified mm -hmm. um yeah, I, I'd say that's every bit as important as ha having a contract <laughs> no, for like transportation and knowing what, what the numbers are from that. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. You want, yeah, I agree. And then there was uh, saving previous summative percentages of budget changes for final deliberations. So um, as you may recall, Jen, <laughs> the, uh, the final... <laughs> where we went magically from 9.3 on a Friday to 7.9 and that's it on a Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause we had a, I can't remember exactly, but I remember we had, it was a virtual meeting mm -hmm. and we sort of all agreed 
the next thing you know, it was like, boom. <laughs> um, Cause I, yeah, I think it might've been like a Thursday night or it, something. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then it came and back, I, you guys came back on Monday and mm -hmm. uh, the budget was lower than the numbers you'd, you'd vote. As far as I could tell, you'd voted on mm -hmm. them. Right. Mm -hmm. It was a cow Correct. vote, but it was a vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I think it might have been a Friday. I think it was, it was, a, it was an odd meeting. We we did on an odd night. It might have been. A, yes. A it, yeah, it wasn't on a, our normal night. I just remember it was like on the weekend. So any, yeah, either like Thursday through Sunday, somewhere around there. And we were all like online. Yep. And it had been yeah. reconvened because something had been dropped out of the budget and then put back in. Um, right. The uh, the the school, the, the adult education. And, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That whole yeah, that was. Yeah, no. Yeah, that was sort of. <sighs> it's I'm glad they just came to their senses and put it back in. Yeah. I don't. It, I know, Mike. You mentioned you watched some of that, but I was like, I was a little upset about that one because I'm here. Like, you have people realizing, you know, um, they didn't finish school, right? And then now they're trying to make an effort to finish school, and we're like, "Yep, we're gonna nix that part of the budget." I was like, "Come on, yeah. come on, people." Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and if and if someone's if someone's going back to school, uh, mm -hmm. as as uh, you know, after being out of school. They're going back because mm -hmm. they really want it and or they mm -hmm. really need it. <laughs> so. Exactly. Exactly. And it's already an uphill both ways kind of battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. No. Yes, yeah. I remember that meeting. Now I just need to go back to our calendars to see if it's still there. Oh. I think it is because we have like all of our meetings posted. Yeah. Oh, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. February 23rd. Yeah. It's February 23rd. And the 28th, I think, is when you had to get things in or something. 26, yeah. 26 was the Monday vote. 23rd was the Friday meeting. And then 28th mm -hmm. was the deadline to the the, the right. town, mm -hmm. town manager. Get the budget on the table of the town manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. The I don't have anything else to add to the policy and procedure document at this time. Um I think. All that's left to do really is to, to maybe just cross-reference this with the policy document we have, like we did for these first three, and identify where they could be spliced in. Yeah. And then, and mm -hmm. then do the uh, copy-paste edit thing and try to clone the language and actually like write a policy draft. Um, and, and there really isn't my there's there's a policy about our budget control, um, yeah. and there just isn't much there. Um, which which I guess I mean as long as it would be much better to have it there. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, um, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just down to uh getting the business manager in here and us uh crunching some some words. Um, I should have some time this weekend where I can uh do that go through the policy documents and try to clone in some language to so it sounds like actual policy speak and then just kind of put the the intent in there and on the finance committee ian i think you're on that or no, are you on? dennis yeah i am dean beverly and myself and and so my my guess is that uh, the new business manager will be quick into that meeting too and mm -hmm. And so if, it, if it's a matter of scheduling our time, I'd be happy to, you know, you have a have a joint meeting for that just for other purposes of of letting us like more efficiently ask the same questions. Sure. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, well, Dean's been very gracious with that. Uh, you know, he let me drop in for uh, for the non-lapsing fund discussion. So um, mm -hmm. there are ways to do it that don't violate FOI or quorums of the big body and Things like oh that. yeah yeah and you were able to to speak uh, as well mm -hmm. yeah since yeah. you're yes. a resident expert and the reason we have a non-lapsing fund yeah. <laughs> well, I, well at least the reason on the the board of ed <laughs> <Right. Thank you. laughs> 
Not the initiator. <laughs> um, yeah. We, we know the others involved and we like them too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't say the name, might hackle, raise some hackles. Um, <laughs> anyhow. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we're good. Um, for tonight, I'm I'm going to make it my mission this weekend to to try to crunch some words together to make yeah. this to actually have like a draft of a policy document because we do have some policy committee meetings coming up and um, I I think uh, you know I think Mike you and I, I I don't know again I think we all talked about this in one form or another that it would be best for, I think um, and I think it was the consensus of the group but I'm guess I'm verifying that now. Is uh, that we would actually present a draft draft policy to the policy committee to review and consider? Yeah, I think that'd be the way yes. to go. They, they'd appreciate it, right? The part of the work being done. Yes. Um, right. And and I I did uh, thank you for the non lapsing fund, but um, you know the very fact that um, that as a whole town council thing or, or not town council board of ed thing too, but um, the very fact that we're in this ad hoc committee is uh through through jay's leadership and, and that, that, i mean this is a real opportunity um that I, i'm glad we're making the best of it agreed mm -hmm. agreed yeah because we're here now and we follow yes agreed because we're here now we follow certain ways um and who knows who's going to be here you know in the future and may or may not be as disciplined in taking our approach. So at least if we set some guidelines up, we know for the benefit of our town and us as taxpayers um, that at least, you know, we've set a foundation. So truly appreciate it. And, and the future members will appreciate the foundation <laughs> too, right? Yeah. I hope so. Yes. I hope so. I hope so. I hope they don't find it too constraining, but yeah, no, I hope they appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Um, well, if there's nothing further, um, how y'all feel? Do you have anything else you want to bring up? Nope. No. 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 Um, uh, next date of meeting. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at the calendar. Oh, uh, reviewing the referral sheet. Uh, I don't know. That's not something we've really done much um, yet, but do we want to do that? What did you ask? What, reviewing the... Uh, the re the referral sheet. Um, yeah, I don't know how that really works. That <laughs> so ended up on the... I didn't really ask for that on the, on the, on the um, agenda. I, I basically said, like, you know, if we wanted to make any referrals... Um, but it turned into that, but you know, same idea. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to discuss on that right now. Um, and uh, so, yeah, looking at the calendar, um, again, accounting for time. Uh, I mean, we could look at the third, that's, that's two weeks from now. Um, and ostensibly that could be after the business manager comes on, or we could, uh, go a little deeper in October, aim for the 10th. Yeah, I'd go for the 10th for me. Cause I've got something on the third that I think is going to overlap. I'm just not sure. So. Well, it gives me more time. Yeah. 10th it is. And I think. If either the 26th or the 29th is the date that she starts, like mm -hmm. if it were the 29th, that would literally be her like third or fourth day. We'll we'll give her a week <laughs> to settle in. <laughs> yeah. <We're> gracious. <laughs> our, our, our next meeting will convene in the business manager's office. Right. On the day yeah. she shows up. <laughs> Welcome. Here's your book. <laughs> All right. Uh, six forty-five. Still a good time. Yes. yes. All right. Then uh, we will. Um, on consensus, we can just say uh, six forty-five on October tenth. Great. All right. Um. 
And with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll uh, second so, that. So <laughs> by Jen White and seconded by Whitney. All in favor, say aye. 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 And none opposed, none abstaining. We are done for tonight. Thank you all.